What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It is very late at night right now. I actually already edited the entire video. Um, went fishing for a couple hours tonight, went fishing for most of the day yesterday, but I didn't film much. And then the evening yesterday, and uh, caught a ton of walleyes and uh, it's been a good bite overall and one thing I will say I absolutely love fall you guys probably hear me say that a million times in every single video I do this time of year um, but fish set up and it's been very cold um, the last couple of weeks here the last week or so and it's gonna stay cold and what that means is that fish set up and they stay there right it's really one of the most stable periods of the entire year to fish um, kind of when you start getting water temps that are like 50 degrees and under right because there's not a lot of fluctuation obviously um, in temperature or where fish are going to be when you start getting to this end of the year time frame fish kind of set up where they're going to be right until the lake freezes right and uh, what we've been doing a lot pretty much same thing on every lake i've been to has been pitching quarter ounce kalen's google eye jigs with some kind of large minnow we offering on there that is a dried up sucker minnow from today and uh, we've been pitching pretty shallow well, around weeds or sand or rocks and we've caught fish on everything and uh one thing that's kind of been a big deal for sure in the last week or so, we've had these very big winds, which is fall is notorious for, and it's been big winds a straight west or a northwest. And what that does to your southeast or east side of the lake, or your south edge of the lake, you know, kind of depending on how your lake sets up, but anywhere where that wind's just pounding in day after day after day, um, it is absolutely there's going to be fish relating to that piece of structure, right? And uh, fall is fall and spring when you have fish very shallow, that wind, that constant wind blowing into something is definitely a big deal, right? Especially on the bigger lake that you get on, right? You don't see it a lot on a thousand acre lake, but you see it a lot on bigger and bigger and bigger lakes. And uh, the lakes we are fishing are like a lot of these three to five, 6,000 acre lakes. And uh, that, south, that east side of the lake, the south side of the lake, um, has been producing a lot of fish. And they're getting up there on plain sand or on a weed edge, or like I said, on a, on a rock transition. And it is just a ton of fun. And, we're, and you know you're kind of in the right stuff when you're catching a little bit of everything. So um, I just kind of threw this video together tonight of some fish catches. Um, there's some information in here, uh, but it's just a good old fashioned fish catching video. So I appreciate you guys watching and uh, enjoy. First cast, we'll take that. It feels like a good fish. I could be wrong. Oh, it's a nice smallie. Look at that. Smallie up in the weeds. But hey, we'll take it. Just saw that pot of fish, and I always talk about fall being so much fun. Just because you can do catch a whole bunch of fish in relatively the same spots. And look at this fish, he's just losing his mind. Not a super big one here. We'll go ahead and scoop them up. And yesterday, one thing we had, actually the last several days, is a huge west-northwest wind. And I'm fishing the southwest side of the lake right now. And uh, I think this is probably where most of these fish are gonna be up shallow. And a lot of these lakes, they relate very closely to uh, where that wind's blowing in the fall to push fish up shallow. That's a chunker smallmouth right there. Ton of fun way up shallow, just thick, healthy fish. Beautiful. Let's let that guy go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. See you later, buddy. Oh, here's a fish. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Fish on. Fish number two here. Might be another bass, honestly. No, it is nice walleye. How can you beat this? I actually lost a fish on my second cast. And on my third cast, here we go. Nice chunker, healthy walleye right there. We got a boat right behind me though. So I'm gonna sneakily show you guys this fish right here. Chunker, super healthy, up shallow, wind blown sand. Take it, love it. The wind's actually picking up a little bit. It was perfectly flat calm out right when I started this video. And uh, now we got a little wind as the day is coming to an end. Whoa. Hooked up. Fish on. Hang on, Steve. I got a fish on right now. All right, guys. Another fish on. Here. It's a nice bass up in the weeds here. Man, this is fun. I'm kind of talking quiet because there's a boat over here. But fish after fish after fish right now. Just smoking them. And that's a big old chunk or smallmouth right here. Just a thick, heavy one. He's so big he can barely get out of the water. <laughs> and this is just unbelievably fun. I'm not gonna walk him around over here. Super nice fish. This is what makes fall just so unbelievably cool. And look at this. I'm seeing a few other ones on side in right here right now as we're fighting this fish. Just an absolute toad. Toad smallmouth here. There we go. We got look at that fish right there that is what i'm talking about uh, the gold canelins google eye right there that is a lot of fun he's got it good he's not getting off and there's just fish all over outside of here right now but look at that thing just a brute of a small super gold color big old mean face on him look at that thing that's probably a 19 and a half 20 inch fish right there We'll let it go. Just a stud. of what I'm looking at here it's not really super great looking um, but you can see there's some fish right here right off this edge and all I'm doing is like you can see I'm kind of motoring around with the trolling motor and the second I see just a little bit of life basically I'm just spot locking and pitching out right to it and uh, it has been working so far Sometimes it takes a couple casts to kind of dial right in on where those fish are sitting. And obviously sometimes I'm seeing more fish than other times. Um, yeah, we're not a super complicated deal here. I'm kind of running a bigger sand weed flat. And you can see I've obviously got wind coming in here. It's real calm out all day. There's a fish right there. Oh, God, fish. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Another nice walleye here. Oh my gosh, fall, how can you beat it? It's not super cold out today. Fish are biting. Nice walleye right there. On order on Kalen's Google Eye Jig. Man, these are some healthy, healthy fish. I mean, how does it get better than that right there? Is it super big? No, it's not super big. Is it a super nice, healthy fish? Catching them basically every couple cast. Whoa, 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 there he goes, he's all angry. I'm all tangled up here in my line. Look at that, beautiful walleye. Let's send him back. Do it again, too much fun. Oh, 
Where's the bite? And fish on. Feels pretty decent. Just smoked it back there. I think we got a nice walleye on. Look at that one right there. Too much fun. Wind's picking up. It's getting fishy out. Not super big fish here, but come on, buddy. Oh, this barely boat flipped him. Nice about 18 incher there. Pitching that jig. If you're a walleye fisherman and you don't like feeling a jig get thumped, you might as well find something else to fish for. Jig bites are just so much fun and that is one of the many reasons why fall is just so cool. Beautiful walleye right there on that little quarter ounce Kalen's Google Eye jig. Too awesome, wind's picking up, like I said, feeling fishy out. Got about an hour left of daylight. See you later, dude, too awesome. Oh, there's a bite right there. Just gonna let him eat for a second. And there we go, fish on. Oh, feels like it's probably a nice walleye. Although I could be wrong. Definitely a nice fish. Oh yeah, nice walleye. They are some angry ones today. Digging it. <laughs> I just can't get over how much fun jig bites are. You spend so much time all season long. You know, spring's obviously so cool because it's a shallow jig bite. A lot of the summer, you know, I'm doing a lot of trolling, deep water stuff, but it's hard to beat just casting a jig in a plastic or a jig in a sucker, jigging a bigger minnow like I am in the fall. So many of these spots just fill up with fish. And uh, this jig's just a warrior. I feel like I should frame this thing. I don't even know how many fish this one jig has. I feel like I've been tied it on. I have it tied on for like two weeks now, but uh, stocky walleye right there. So healthy out here, man. Super healthy. I've not spent a lot of time on this lake this season, but man, those are some beautiful, beautiful walleyes right there. Look at that. He's just a handful of a 19 incher. Super pudgy too. Let's let that guy go. That is too much fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> how can you beat it? Wind's just pouring into this sand trough here and there is just fish everywhere in here. It is gonna be hard to leave when my side imaging looks like this because it is all just too much fun. Awesome, another about 18 incher there. Let's let them go. Too cool, I love fall. So that is gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. Um, hopefully you enjoyed watching me set the hook as much as I enjoyed setting the hook. And uh, it is late at night, it's about midnight right now. And uh, I'm gonna get some sleep, hit it hard again tomorrow, and hopefully get another video for you guys. Um, if you get out, enjoy some fall fishing. Fall's an amazing time of year. And fish are biting. Pitch a jig around with some kind of bigger minnow on there, around some shallow structure, and you're definitely gonna catch some fish. So thanks for watching. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.